Hi, it's David from Electric Teaching and welcome back. This is part eight, my star catcher game. Um, as you can see, we have the game going right now and I can move the player around by the keyboard commands. Later, we will switch that to mouse commands. Today, I want to work on a scoreboard. And so I want to do a couple of things here to show you the, the ability of this game. First of all, I want to change the width and height of the game just to let you know that because we've controlled everything with the variables width and height everything will work perfectly no matter what size we pick um, i also want to come down here and i want to change the player size to be a little bit bigger here i'm going to make them 40 by 40. okay and i want to point out that because i'm plotting the uh, uh, player to half the width, half the height, you might think that that's dead center. But it's actually not, because the way the game works, let me run it so you can see it, and the way the game works is that the, play, the player here, which did grow a little bit bigger, and my screen did resize nicely, and you can see everything's bouncing off, collision worked, um, but it's plotting it by the upper left corner of the rectangle here. So the rectangle that holds the player icon. So if I start the game, it's technically not at center. It's the upper left-hand corner that's at center. An easy fix to this is to take the width and subtract off the width of the um, player, which I've now changed to 40, and the same thing with the height. And I'm using parentheses to make sure they are both divided by 2. A little bit of mathematics here. This is saying that both, because of parentheses, need to be divided by 2. So width and the 40 and height and the 40 both get divided by 2. So let's say we got a 600 uh, width. Let's actually use the height. It's a little bit easier. So with 400, and if I d minus 40, that switches it to 360, divided in half, and that makes 180. It means the upper left-hand corner is going to be plotted at 180 with a 40 height in the pixels that means that's and plotting on the upper left corner that means it's going to plot 20 above so that means it's perfectly balanced and will be dead center on the screen so and i'm missing a parentheses there somehow we'll put that back in for the px equals py so now let's work on the score first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a initialized variable of score equals zero. If I don't create a score equals zero and then I decide to put that score on the screen right off the bat, it, it will not work. Now I'm going to put in a game font. I am creating a variable called game font. could say my font. It's just a variable name. And I'm going to use a pygame library command font capital. If you wait a second, you can see the choices here and there'll be system font and font type, etc. I'm just going to use regular font. Sometimes I use system font. I'm use regular font. And what I'm going to say is don't pull up anything. You can see a file name is asked here. Don't pull up any file uh, with a font in it. And just make the size, uh, let's go with 30. 30 is a nice size. So I'm creating a game font. Anytime I want to put something on the screen, I'll refer to this font to know how to, so the computer knows how to render it. And I'll use the command render here too. So let's call the score text box. This is kind of like making a text box, like in, in Word or something. So I'm going to say score text is the variable name. And this is the actual text, not the box yet. So this is the actual text of it. Um, and I'm going to use the font that I made called game font. I'm going to use a command called render. I'm going to put in single quotes what I want it to say. So yours could say anything you want here. Later, you can make this game work on maybe lives, and maybe you're trying to stay alive in the game, and you can make this the player lives instead of the player score. Now, score is a number, an integer. And from right here, we said score equals zero. So it would read it as an integer. So if I say plus score here, it won't work. It won't like that. It's going to say I'm trying to add words to numbers, and just logically that won't work. So we convert the score to a bunch of num a bunch of characters by making it a string. And then this add symbol will just add on to the end of it, uh, append to the end of that string of characters, the score character, whatever it is. I'm going to use a, a comma 
two here. Please forgive me. I do not remember what that actually two, and sometimes I put a one there, uh, does. And then I got to actually plot it to the, uh, or excuse me, I have to choose a color here. I'm going to make my score, let's see, RGB. I'm going to make it all red, no green, no blue. Uh, 255 is the highest you can go. It's a 256 total count, but it starts at zero. Close parentheses at the end. And now we've set up a score text that I can throw in there anytime. It's based on what score we give it. So we will have to put this down into the game loop later. Um, box width will be a variable that'll just say, hey, what is the size of the score text? If the score gets bigger, the score text will get bigger. So we ask it, score text, get rect. We want to know what size it is. So that's why we can center it nicely on the screen. And I'm going to do a very similar centering trick that I did with this width and height. So I get score box, uh, 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 score text is rectangle size. This is four dimensions, upper left XY, lower right XY of whatever size this is. So it always starts off with zero, zero in the upper left. And then however big it is will be the XY in the next two characters of this screen. Excuse me, I need to get the half size. I basically I need to get the score centered. So I'm going to take something like this. I'm going to take the width, okay, divided by two, as well as this box length divided by two. So I'm going to do a very similar command here, and I'm going to say the score x position, just a variable to hold the x number, will be equal to same idea, width minus the score. Uh, uh, excuse me, the box width x coordinate. The box width is x coordinate. So what I'm going to use is box width. You know, I'm going to switch this word to be box size. I don't like using the word width. So the box size, okay, and from the box size, I am going to actually use the third element in there. If you remember, we started zero, so that's number two element in there. Close parentheses, divide by 2. So this will do the exact same thing. We're going to get both of them divided by 2 so that when it blitz the upper left corner, it will be blitted nicely in the center. Minus, same, oh, no, that's it. That's basically it. Right there, divide by 2. Yeah, I think that's what we want for the x-coordinate. Now we'll blit it. Screen, blit, score, text. That's the thing I'm blitting, which is the score text, which is this information right here. Now we're going to blit the score text to an XY location of score X pause. That's the position I just figured out up here. And then 20 down off the top of the screen. So that's the Y coordinate. Um, now, all these commands need to be put into, well, not all these commands, but the blit command obviously needs to be put down into my game loop. And so let's put up some text here to know what I'm doing here, a little comment line saying this is the score text loading. And now I'm going to take two of these lines here, two of these lines, copy that line, and I'm going to blit the score right after I blit the player. Sometimes I'll put it down a little bit lower, but this is a nice spot right now. So we'll blit background player, then score, then the target, and then update, as you can see. But because the score will change down the road, we need to actually recalculate or reassign what the score text is. So the score text is using the variable score start at zero but if we come down here to collision and all i have to do is do something like put in score and plus equal to increase it and i'll just increase it by 10 let's say in this way the score will always be updated and then blitted so let's try running it saving it and running it and we have a syntax error it happens Let's check this out. I got an open parenthesis, close. Oh, I didn't set up a, a, an open close parenthesis there for the whole XY location. And I don't think I need that extra parenthesis as I thought I did. Save and run. All right, so you'll notice that my score is blitted perfectly in the middle. And let's see if it actually increases the score. In fact, it increases the score continually because all I've done is move the location. 
Right now, the target pause is in the same location. I haven't changed my target pause. So I'm going to do that as well. When we have a collision, so down here on, oh, I never made this, uh, never told what it, this was in a little uh, comment line, so it's hard to find that. That's why I want to use my comments. So this is the collision test, which, by the way, the collision test is technically off a little bit because it's checking upper left corner to upper left corner. So down the road, you may want to switch that out. And in this collision test, we also want to tell the target position, target pause, to be equal to something well off the screen. So let's say something like width plus 100, comma, height plus 100. So this will send it completely off the screen. I still want to make this an array, so I'm going to use the brackets. Say F5. Now if I run into it, uh, sometimes it's hard to play my own game. I run into it, it blitz the, the target down here. The player can't pick up any more points by doing uh, by holding it over that position because now the target position is off the screen. Well, that's it for our game score. And stay tuned, and we will actually have the arrays built to uh, make multiple targets, or in this case, multiple stars. This is a good time to do a save as and switch the name of this game because this game right now is working perfectly. And when we do the arrays, we're going to make a lot of changes. Thank you very much.